Reliance Commercial Finance presents India SME Forum 2012. Find out the secrets of success in a series of seminars exclusively for smart entrepreneurs. Join India's biggest SME initiative to boost your business and celebrate SME achievers with India SME 100 Award. once again the tone has been very well set for business growth so let's see how business growth can be achieved through uh, different means including uh, technology technology I mean by information technology now uh, by raise of hands or you can even speak can you name at least the top three technology innovations that have happened in the past 15 years which have sustained what is the greatest innovation that has happened in technology which is really helping all businesses today to grow? Internet. Internet. Yeah. And anything? One more? Mobile. Mobile. Okay. Steve Jobs is, uh, he has used technology. So these are the major five technology. Fifth one will come up. See, uh, one is the internet which has really swarmed and today we cannot imagine without internet how do we really conduct businesses by each one of you. I'm sure each one of you using at least an email. So can we imagine today to send an email without internet? No, it's not possible. Then mobility. Without a mobile phone today, I think we don't step out of the house. We, even if you step out and forget it, you go back, pick your phone and come back. Even if you're getting late, I'm sure this happens. This happened even today for some people, I guess. Then the third and the fourth, these are something which has happened very recently, but they are stabilizing. One is the social media network. Social networking as a concept which was available much, much earlier, right from when we started living as a community. But today that has been in the electronic form. That is a major change. And the fourth one is the cloud computing. That is, this is also a kind of a, a shared model of using technology. It's not that you buy technology for yourself and start spending a lot about it. So these are the four things and the underlying DNA or I should say the fabric which is enabling all this to happen is the high speed communication. Let us say this communication was very low speed. He also mentioned one of the delights of an internet user will be to get access to the immediate site at the high speed. Let us say you have to wait for eight to 10 minutes to come up to the home page of any website. I think you will never, never, ever get back to internet at all. So these are the five important innovations that have happened and it, this, uh, I should say this again, innovation has not stopped. Just because a kind of a communication has started, it didn't stop there. It has moved from 2G to 3G to 4G. This kind of high speed communications have happened, wireless, from wireline to wireless. And now today even sitting here you can access all your business applications. So this is the scenario today. But how it has really evolved, we will also see. There's mobility has really taken a very high uh, dent into the people's life. Today, as we earlier said, you cannot really survive without it. And these are some figures. What I am trying to say is two important things that technology can do for you, for all of us, as far as business is concerned. One is it will immediately take you to large distances. Distance is no more a barrier for us to do business today. Sitting in Bombay, you can do business across, across the country or even you can go outside the country as well. So you can make your presence very, very much felt. And there is no issue of handling large volumes of your business, large volumes of your transactions. Absolutely, that is not an issue today. Because if you, are, if you think that I'm a small business, therefore I can operate out of a small geography or I can operate only a few volumes of transactions, that is no more an issue. Absolutely, you can do that. Then, but what is that which is stopping you from adopting technology? Again, one important uh, issue or two important issues which stop you from using technology is one is the lack of skilled manpower. 
That means if you adopt uh, technology, if you buy technology and what is required, you have to run this technology by using skilled people. So skilled people are at a premium. What happens if you have already adopted technology and the skilled guy has left? So then you will be in trouble. The other is the acquisition itself is at a very, very high cost. So these are the two things, cost and people. So how do you really block this or how do you overcome this? There are three options to adopt technology or anything else. One is you acquire technology, which we call it as the CapEx model. But buying technology is a very, very expensive one. And it is not flexible. I'll also explain what is flexible or not. Uh, other thing is open source. You can download a lot of applications from the internet and start using. But somewhere you will get stuck because there's no support for that. The final one which I would like to introduce or you already introduced is the cloud technology, which it is nothing but using technology in a shared mode. All of us come together. We all subscribe to a specific technology, let's say an ERP system, but each of us do not own that ERP system. Each of us just pay as you use. That means it's like your electricity. If I use, if I have 100 users or 100 people in my organization, I will have to have, let us say, five users are going to use this application. I will uh, pay for only five people. If tomorrow my business grows, and it has grown to an extent of 500, and I need 500 more, I can always use 500. So 550 is my current number of users. Suddenly the business has taken a downtrend for some reason, X, Y, Z, though it's not really a, a great event. But still it can happen, we have seen several times. Then what do you do with 550 licenses? Absolutely there, there are no 550 people. So how do you scale down? Cloud computing allows you to scale down. So previously we always, when you say business, it is always scale up. So there sh it should also have the flexibility to scale down. And that answer is cloud computing. So cloud computing, there are absolutely, even your email, even your PowerPoints, even your spreadsheets, everything is available in cloud. Today, I can say A to Z, even your uh, contact centers can be on a hired basis. Even, uh, I should say, your CRM systems, payroll management, everything could be on the cloud. And all are available in India, absolutely there is no issue. Among you, I am sure some of you are also providing these kind of services. So if you all come together, we can also help you as Reliance Commercial Finance to give you this kind of a know-how and help you get there. So I am talking of business growth not 2x times or 3x times, I am talking of multiples of 100x. So that is the leap which you can take when you adopt technology.